Hello and welcome back to another episode of Generation Films. My name is American Ben. Today, we talk about eggs, probably offend everyone, and then get demonetized and cancelled. But first, hey y'all, thanks for all the support on the Avasarala video. It really means a lot. Truthfully, it's Shorag Dashlu that deserves the credit. She's a supremely talented actress, but I think even more importantly, an exceptional person. And it's pretty easy to be inspired by somebody like that. I want to take some time to give a shout out to viewer Jeff Johnson specifically for sharing our video on Reddit. In return, Jeff, we're going to make you an official character in Generation Film slash Tech lore. You'll be joining the likes of the legendary Barry Ben from our Macross video as a member of the Legion of Heroes of the Republic who fought valiantly in the Great Galactic War to preserve humanity. Too bad that you were eaten alive by a giant ice spider and that your soul is now stuck in the warp. But I promise that you will never be forgotten. Anyway, today I need an easier video after all the work that went into Avasarala. So on to some more lighthearted fare. Everyone's angry and yelling at each other! Now, what the hell was I talking about with that opening sentence? Well, here I was enjoying The Mandalorian, a nice reprieve from the insanely hostile and politicized world we live in today. The Mandalorian doesn't preach, it just entertains. Argument is good, don't get me wrong, but we need some things we can all agree on, right? You know, like pineapple doesn't go on pizza or Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda is awesome. But I regret to inform you that following the second episode of the second season, Baby Yoda, or the child according to Lord Favreau, came under fire. Why? Well, as you all probably know by now, and spoiler alert if you don't, in that second episode entitled The Passenger, Baby Yoda's eating habits apparently crossed the line. Baby Yoda is cancelled. He must die. As a refresher, in exchange for information, the Mandalorian agrees to transport a frog lady and her eggs from Tatooine to the estuary moon Trask, where her husband, who's stationed there, will be able to fertilize the eggs and thus give life to more frogs. And this is a more delicate mission as it seems as the frog lady's eggs represent the last of her line. Of course, along the way, our savior baby Yoda decides to chow down on some of the eggs. To make matters worse, later on in the episode, Baby Yoda also eats an ice spider egg, which sincerely pisses off Mama Spider and her spider horde. The result of all this? Well, an army of outraged internet denizens came marching in to chide the show's makers with scathing critiques such as, quote, Baby Yoda eating other babies isn't effing funny. Another side quest episode I didn't need to see, end quote. Or, as Duke of New Jersey Kevin Smith puts it, quote, me trying to explain to my kid that Baby Yoda eating those eggs isn't cute. It's genocide, end quote. For the most part, people were taking issue with the fact that Baby Yoda was one, eating other babies, which, okay, when you put it that way, sounds kind of bad, and two, was eating babies that represented the last of Frog Lady's line. Of course, when defenders of the show pointed out that the eggs were unfertilized and thus no life was yet inside of them, PETA and other animal rights activists retorted with assertions such as, quote, Eating anyone's eggs is the path to the dark side, Baby Yoda. Eat them, do not. The chicken egg industry confines hens to filthy conditions, exploits their reproductive systems, kills male chicks, and slaughters the hens after they're no longer useful, end quote. Heavy, heavy, but necessary to hear. So where do I stand on all of this? Well, I'm half on one side and half on the other. Half pissed off as hell this would cause an uproar, and half sensitive to people's feelings. First off, before I criticize the attacks on Baby Yoda, I want to first say that I don't think there's anything wrong with not finding Baby Yoda eating the eggs funny. You do not have to find any joke funny that you don't think is funny. Except for my jokes. If you don't find them funny, I will find you. Secondly, I think that a lot of the criticism about the scenes in question has come from a well-meaning place. As in, I think that a lot of the people on social media that have been criticizing the scenes have been doing so out of legitimate empathy for the frog lady. And before you scoff at that, ask yourself, have you ever found yourself empathizing with a fictional character before? I think we all have. Not everybody who didn't find Baby Yoda's eating habits funny was acting in bad faith. Some people were just being honest. For instance, this Twitter user who writes, quote, Genocide for sake of cute humor is never very funny. I mean, I laughed, but I felt really guilty about it." End quote. Legitimate opinion here. They even admit they laughed. I can settle for that. And I mean, I can't really criticize this because, to be honest, I'm a wuss. I myself get really bothered sometimes when I witness the suffering that a character goes through in a movie or show. I'm the type of person who watches a nature video where a lion catches some poor fleeing animal and tears its insides out alive, 
and then can't get the images of murder out of my mind as I try to process how the helpless thing was feeling as it was being eaten. I mean, I'm the type of guy who cries at the end of Home Alone 2 for God's sakes, so I don't mind a little sensitivity as long as one's reaction is reasonable. As far as PETA goes, I know they get a bad rap, but I don't actually think that this is very fair. I mean, I think I kind of generally like PETA's approach. They use the opportunity to raise awareness about animal abuse, but they don't do so in a combative way, and they don't then go on to call for the Mandalorian to be canceled or anything. Now, my issue comes in when people start to take the show a bit too seriously. And there were a number of articles written on the subject, no doubt guilty of this, though probably only for the sake of attempting to seize on the controversy for views. In one article on the egg-eating incident, Gizmodo contributor Charles Pulliam Moore says, quote, Though the frog lady herself never seems to notice that the number of eggs in the canister keeps shrinking, Mando knows that what the baby's doing is deeply messed up. For some reason, though, the episode plays it for laughs in a way that makes light of the fact that the child is literally wiping out the frog lady's family for snack time, end quote. Okay, so sorry to Charles, but we're going to use his article to make some commentary here. All respect to you, though, my friend. First off, this is Star Wars, okay? Not everyone in Star Wars is a vegan. Animals get killed in brutal ways sometimes for food. I actually admire vegans a lot, and I despise the way they're made fun of by meat eaters sometimes, as if they're the ones doing something wrong. Though the ad hominem does go both ways in that debate. But this is just fiction. No one is actually getting eaten. I think. Baby Yoda might actually be a method actor. He seems super intense. Anyway, we must separate fiction from reality. Yes, fiction can inspire reality, but I mean the frog lady's race does not actually exist. Baby Yoda's race does not actually exist. Eggs do not exist. Crap, okay, scratch that last one. So yes, I'm against eating the frog lady's eggs in real life, but I don't really foresee anybody being able to do that. Nor do I think these actions on Baby Yoda's part are going to inspire anyone to think to themselves, hmm. You know what? I think I like genocide. It's just a simple joke, like it or not. And part of what's funny about the joke is that it's making fun of the brutality of nature. We're laughing at the very violence of it, which we know sucks. Laughing at horrible things that happen is one way that humans cope with the reality of nature and society. People aren't laughing at the frog lady. They're laughing at Baby Yoda for indeed being a vicious little sociopathic monster. Also, keyword here, baby. Baby Yoda is, although old in human years, a baby. Babies do stupid things. Babies are the most selfish people I know. They're legitimately bad people. As I've said before on this channel, not every baby is equal in cuteness, and they're all demonic. Should the show make Baby Yoda out to be a fully functional, morally sound adult? No, Baby Yoda is acting according to its survival instincts because babies are dicks. But they're sweet and adorable, so we can't punch them. Also, I get that these eggs are the last of the frog lady's line, and even if they're not the last of her race, that still makes the eggs pretty precious. All eggs are precious. But you know what else there's not a lot of out there? Yodas. Baby Yoda seems like he might be the last of his line too, so might be important for him to get his protein on long space flights. That's all I'm saying, because it seems to me like Yoda's species has done a lot more for the galaxy than frogs. Yeah, I said it. Sorry, it's true. When was the last time you saw a frog do this? Never. Frogs suck. But they're sweet and adorable, so we can't punch them. We can't punch anything. In a second article Charles Pulliam Moore wrote on the egg-eating incident, he writes, quote, What's most unsettling about the whole egg-eating thing is that by the end of The Passenger, Mando still doesn't seem all that concerned with making sure the child doesn't eat any more of the frog lady's eggs. And she doesn't even seem completely unaware that he's consumed at least three of them. Mando's still getting the hang of fatherhood. But not eating other people's children is the sort of lesson he should want to impress upon his young charge, as it's deeply messed up. More than that, it's likely to get them both in even more trouble if that behavior keeps up. Okay, I kind of feel like Charles is trolling. Charles, are you trolling? In any case, I didn't learn to not eat other children until I was 16. Still, the thing you have to understand about Din Djarin is that he is a Mandalorian. We should probably just be happy he's not killing everyone he comes into contact with. 
I thought it was charitable that he only sniped a few Jawas back in Season 1. That is a breakthrough in pacifism for his kind. Not every character in the Star Wars universe is going to be so perfectly virtuous. I mean, Mando is the kind of guy who smashes would-be thieves into the ground at hundreds of miles per hour. He sacrifices Banthas as if they were as worthless as galactic credits. The fact that he even protects Baby Yoda given his background is outstanding. Back in his first article, Pulliam Moore writes, quote, The intentionally disturbing quality of the baby's egg pilfering becomes more disconcerting the more you sit with it because of what it says about the Mandalorian. Baby Yoda might really have just inhaled an endangered woman's eggs like they were chicken nuggets as the writer's idea of a joke. Or this entire production is just a misdirect leading up to a moment later in the season when the baby miraculously vomits the eggs up when the frog lady desperately needs them, end quote. Huh, maybe actually, not a bad prediction. But Charles, my friend, if not, you have to be prepared to let these eggs go, because yeah, this is the writer's sense of humor, and honestly, I think a lot of Mandalorian fans found the egg-eating to be funny. You didn't, and you do not have to. And I think it's great that you feel for the frog lady here. We all need to find opportunities to empathize with others in this world, including when we consume fiction. Oh, and as for Baby Yoda eating the ice spider eggs, Yes, it was uncalled for. Yes, the spider has a right to defend her eggs. But sorry, spiders suck. I do want y'all to know, though, I'm working on myself and recently I have been letting spiders live. I just move houses every time I find one. Anyway, I don't really want to ramble on here. I see points on both sides within reason and I want to leave the debate to you. But I do think it's important to stress that nothing serious happened and The Mandalorian is still a great and funny show, in my opinion. Though the episodes are too short, Favreau, you're killing me with this 29 minutes crap. Anyway, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this whole hoopla. Um, subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell. For now, my name is American Ben, and I'll catch you next time. Generation Films, peace.